I promise you a drink, Mr. Vane. It's very late. But never too late, I hope. I... I happen to think that it is. I have a problem, Mr. Vane, and I think you can help me. I doubt it. You see, I'm a man who cannot rest until he has fulfilled the promise he made earlier in the day. Well, that's very commendable. However, I I'm not interested. I promise you a drink earlier. No, I think we should have that drink and then I will leave quietly. Oh, it's very well chilled, don't worry. It took a certain amount of timing. Mr. Lavery, I really... Please call me Duke. After all, we have danced. Briefly. Oh, we should take care of that too, I think. Mr. Lavery, what I wanted to say is that at this hour of night, I'm really not interested in whatever your personal idiosyncrasies might be. Or perhaps after we get to know one another a little better, you will. But I think that we've got off to a very bad start. Well, that's not bad. Only one place to go from there, and that is up. I'm not so sure about that. Oh, you'll see. Mr. Lavery, if you think that you can turn up on my doorstep at this hour of the night and expect me to welcome you into my home, then I'm you really... I'm quite mistaken. Yes, you are quite mistaken. Oh, but you see, I'm not mistaken, Mr. Vane. I didn't think this was going to be easy. I knew it was going to take some doing. Well, you're not doing it. This is very pleasant here, you know. It's warm. It's comfortable. Tasteful. <sighs> Thank you. Well, what did you expect? An interrogation room? Mm -mm. I didn't expect an interrogation room. I expected what I found. I didn't come calling on a cop, Mr. Vane. I came calling on a beautiful woman. Now, be kind. Have one sip at least. It's very good. Ah, uh, things are looking up. Uh, I'm complimenting the wine, Mr. Lavery, the wine. Try Duke on for size. Don't underestimate me. Oh, never. I am a cop, remember? Aren't there times when you just want to put your badge away? Yes, but I always put it where I can find it. And aren't there times when you just feel like a woman? Yes, the same way that a male cop sometimes feels, just like being an ordinary man. You really are on very thin ice here, Mr. Lavery, Duke, whatever you want to be called. Uh -uh. I think I am. Oh, good. I'm glad you think so. Don't you like to know that I am flexible? Yes, it helps. Hmm. That's a major step forward. But I don't know where we're going. Well, adventures often start that way. I very rarely have time for adventure. That's why you must seize the moment. Now, if there was music... Ah, there is music. Still oh, what lovely music. What were you doing when you started listening to this? Well, I think I was doing the washing up. Well, now you have nothing mundane to do. Well, actually, yes, I'd quite like to go to sleep. Sleep? Yes. You're too young to need much sleep, Mr. Vane. I don't see why we don't just round out a perfect evening by finishing the dance we started earlier. Mr. Avery, I really... I... I feel very odd about this, all of this. That's okay. Odd feelings are sometimes the best kind, you know. I'm not sure. We'll see. I know you, Anna Devane. Yeah. 
I just lived there for a while. I started working on the dolls. Yeah, I lived there for a while, too. I, I was a child there, real young. God, it is one grim city. Absolutely. You know about the Beatles came from there. That's true. They're not grim at all. In fact, they're one of my favorites. I like them. Yeah. So, um... So you were working on the dogs then? Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Well, um, you know, it's it's funny, really. We, we're only just beginning now to get around to facts about each other. Well, I disagree. I think uh, I think we know lots of facts about each other. Well, um, likes and dislikes, maybe. I think that's important. I mean, for example, I wouldn't ask you out for dinner and take you to a Hungarian restaurant. And I wouldn't ask you out for dinner and take you to a Mexican restaurant. Oh, why am I banned? Oh. Once. Once. <laughs> well, um, actually, yes, it's true. We have learned a little bit about each other. I, um, sorry that you don't like Charles Dickens. I like Charles Dickens. I just prefer Thomas Hardy. Hmm. Why, um, don't we concentrate on some more pertinent questions? I think everything we've talked about so far has been pertinent, don't you? Well, actually, no. I, I was thinking more about your acquaintance, uh, Angel Moran. Friend. Not acquaintance. I'm sorry to hear that. It takes me a long time to call a man a friend, Anna. And when he is a friend, I feel as if I have to stand by him. There are things about Angel you might like. I don't think so. I mean, I can't imagine him mixing with a cop. Don't be too sure. He's used to them. But what about you, Anna? What little surprises did life have for you? Surprises? Do I detect a veil across your eyes? No, not at all. I'm just wondering what you mean by surprises. Mommy, how come you're up so early? What are you doing up at this time of night, darling? I'm always up at this time. Uh, but darling, it's... Like for breakfast? In the middle of the night? Morning, Mommy, and here's your morning kiss. Oh, hi, darling. Um, uh, where did the time go? Hello there. Hello. Um, this is my daughter, Robin. Robin, this is Mr. Duke Lavery. How do you do? Very well, thank you. How do you do? Very well. But I don't know what's going on. Let me explain. Last night, Mr. Duke Lavery came round with uh, some champagne, and we... We've been talking all night, and the time just flew by. No kidding. No kidding. You must have a lot to talk about that's interesting. Oh, yeah, and we have a lot more to talk about that's just as interesting. You have an accent, almost like my daddy's. Hmm. I'm learning more and more. I like it. I'm doing well, don't you think? Very. But I'm hungry. All right, sweetheart, I'll fix your breakfast. Will you excuse us? I, I'm very good at squeezing oranges and uh, making scrambled eggs. And what I wouldn't give for a kipper to go with it. Well, kipper, it so happens that... You don't. We do have a kipper or two. Well, if the kitchen's through there, perhaps I'll go start. Really, I'd rather you didn't. I'd rather... Mommy, have... let him. If he's good, we can invite him over again for breakfast. Oh, boy. i got to put everything into this breakfast, huh? Excuse me. You like him, don't you? Shh. He's very charming. That's all. Do you think he could be another possible godfather for me? Oh, darling. I like the way he talks. Don't you think you have enough? I, I really think we ought to talk about this a little bit more, okay? He talks a little like hey. Daddy. Yes. I can't find a can opener. I'll get it for you. She knows Thank you. Is. You're welcome. You didn't tell me you were married. Well, I'm divorced, actually. Surprises. Divorced? Yes. From her father. Who is? Robert Scorpio. He's a um, former police commissioner of Fort Charles. Mm -hmm.
meeting like this is highly unusual, but um, at the request of Robert Scorpio, we uh, bend a few regulations. Thank you. Well, thank me. Thank Scorpio. He arranged it. But you only have a few minutes, so uh, make the best out of it. <laughs> Are you all right? It's fine. They cut your hair, look. Yeah, they did. How's Robin? She's all right. She misses you terribly. Our own feelings mutual. She's drawn you all these pictures. I was going to bring them with me today, but, well, uh, this is an impromptu visit. Robert gave me the pass when we were at the airport. You saw him off? Yes. He's flying back to Australia today. You know, we owe him a lot. I know. I tried to tell him. You, Robin, and I will visit him down under one day. Yeah. Oh, I love to hear you talk about the future like that. That's all I have. That's all I ever think about. I think how wonderful our life is going to be together. I can't wait for you to walk away from this place. Oh, it's so good to see you. cell at night. I wonder what you're doing. I'm just dreaming about you. I do so many things to keep myself busy the time. It passes so slowly. The, the hours are like days. I know. I feel like my life's been put on hold. Can you wait just a while longer? I'll wait for you forever. What's the first thing we'll do when I get out of here? What's the second thing we'll do? I don't know. Um, maybe we'll go to Scotland, like you promised. You shall have that. You shall have all the romance that goes with it. make you happier than you've ever been. I'm going to... I'm going to take the whole world, I'm going to tie a big bow around it, and I'm going to lay it right at your feet. Oh, I can't wait. Just having you here like this, just holding you. I know I'm going to make it. Nothing is going to get in our way now. Time's up. There you go. Can you hold on to that dream? Yeah? Yeah. Before you know it, 